five, six, seven, eight. Oh, God, I'm coughing. There we go. Excuse me. That was ages ago. Okay, so it is running. That's good. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep that there. I will turn the sound down. Is that running? There we go. It's probably not a good idea, but... So, what I'm here to do today, I've got two cameras, I've got this one and I've got this fella here, I like it. I'm going to edit a an episode of Deck Chairs and Dirty Air. And I want to do this for the Patreons and just so you know what goes into producing one of these episodes. It's not a lot, to be honest. I've got four things to cut out. So what I do, when I record, we have a timer that runs in the background. And if something happens, like there's a gap, or there's a noise, or if I hit something, like my, well, that, my um, blind, sorry, I'm not blanking all words, I write it down in my book. And I've got four things to cut out uh, from this episode of Deck Chairs and Dirty Air. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it up. So if I go to this, and then I use a program called... I can't find it. There it is. Audacity. Now, it's free. Lots of people don't like it. I do. I really like it. I've always liked it. And I, I think it's one of the things that it's free. It works well. I've never had any problems with it. And it does a lot more than, let's say, GarageBand. I can't stand GarageBand for doing podcasts. It 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 doesn't work for me. I haven't got a drink. Nuts. Um, but I'm going to do... These, actually, I want to make sure it comes out on the feed. I know you already know if it comes out on the feed or not. I don't. So I'd like to know. Hang on, let's turn in. There's me scrolling through, trying to find audacity. Go on, you need to work. Go on. I think it's going to work. Go on. I oh, know this is riveting. It's working. Okay, fine. So what we have here... We've recorded the episode and we end up with three tracks that come through on, what do we use? Zencaster. So we have them here. So I'm going to bring in the tracks into Audacity. And once we finish recording, we have three tracks that we can bring in and then I can put them together and edit them. Because all the recordings were started and stopped at the same time they're all exactly the same length so there's no mucking around with lining them up correctly or anything like that that is one problem with skype that we used to have which i don't have anymore so let me just load them up i apologize if i'm not very good at this i i don't like doing stuff on my own i prefer to have someone to talk to uh yeah but so pen book wait for these to load up and then i've got this other camera as well i can take you around the setup but this shouldn't be too bad i won't go into all the websites and uploading it on the websites uh, because i'm just worried about login numbers and stuff like that appearing so I don't want to give away my login so everyone then jumps on it and uh, bum rushes me on there. Uh, I really don't want that. So, uh, right, so we have our three tracks. First of all, what I do is a full screen, bring them all down to the full screen size. Along here, you have the time, so you can see it's well over an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Um, let's see if this plays. That's right, yes. So if, yeah. if you have any suggestions, please send it to Grand Prix Pog... No! There you go. There's the end of the episode. So, And the, 
the best way to do these, or the best way to I find to edit them, is hang on, let me let me get myself sorted. I've screwed up again already. There we go, full size. You don't want to I've I've got four trims to make here, so what I'll do I'll I'll do a top and tail, which is doing the tail first. At the very end, I'll do the top just to make sure I, I, I we start off at the right place. Uh, but you have to work backwards through these episodes. So I've got a gap at 1 minute 33. So I have to hit that gap first before I have the little blind noise where I, I hit the blind at 19 minutes. If I edited this one first, everything shifts over to the left. So the meaning that the 1 hour 33 has now moved to 1 hour, let's say, 32. So I may miss it. And if you've got 3, 4, 10 edits that you're going to be doing, you're going to be bumping that over. Let's say you take a second out every time, 10 seconds. Excuse me. And you can very easily get yourself lost. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work backwards on the track. So we want to go into the end of the track. Where is it? So this is all the end of the track. This is, who's on this one? Ba, 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 ba. Actually, um, what we can do, we solo this. Who's this? I think this might be me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's. Oh, was the. Oh god, I'm such an idiot, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, so that's me. Just so you guys can keep track on this. Uh, oh, no, wrong one. This one here. Is it's gone off the rails. <laughs> that's Andy. So let's rename that Andy so you guys know exactly what's going on. I don't normally do this. I don't need to do this. It's gone off the rails. Yep. Okay. And this one. Oopsie doopsies. This one should be Dave. There's a lot of shows that do kind of potted here. Yes. Okay. So now we've got three people on there. We've got me, Andy, and Dave. Let's find out where the end of the episode is. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, what a surprise. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you to everyone for uh, helping us out. Thank you guys for being on here. Oh, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah we'll, we'll leave it there. And s Until next time, bye-bye. Ta-da. Bye-bye. That's it. There we go. Right, let me cool. just press stop. See, so what I can do there, what I like about Audacity, I can now drag, using this cursor key here, I can now drag across and just trim all that off. That's gone. On GarageBand, you can't do that. You can't just highlight three tracks like that. You have to go into each and every single one. GarageBand is a, a very simplistic view. I, f I forget what. The, the next upgrade is in the Apple software system. But, uh, yeah, um, Audacity seems to work. So that's that's the end of the track, done. So that's cool. Uh, we've got a gap at 1 minute 33. So we have all the times at the top here. And I can move out of the track so it, it becomes bigger. Oh, sorry, we can see more, and I can scroll through this a bit better. So, normally I can see the gaps. So, 133, is that there? It might be there. So, I can zoom back in. Let's see what was said. Rivalries and kind of encourage that sort of aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's a good place to bring this to. Yeah. 
So there's a bit of a gap. There's me not picking up on something that Andy said because I'm an idiot. So we can just drop that down there. And you don't like to sound too unnatural either. So um, let's take that out there. Of aspect. Yeah. Well, let's take a teeny weeny bit out of there as well. That sort of aspect. Yeah. Well, I think that's a good place to bring this to an end. Uh, okay, so the gap is gone. I can knock that one off the list. So, next one is me bashing the mic. <laughs> Okay, one minute, oh, sorry, one hour, three minutes and 30 seconds. So, I'll zoom out. Slightly, I really should have got a drink. Three minutes, 30, that's going to be about there. I think we can see it already. It's there, isn't it? Yeah. So, I think this is it here. Slide this across and solo this. Let's just listen. Yeah, there's me just bashing it around. So, just in case you didn't hear that, yeah, there's me me whacking it. So, if I just highlight this, so I'm not highlighting all the other tracks, just highlighting this little bit here. There's a silence button here. Click on that, boom, it's gone. So, now. There you go. So you haven't got me bloody rubbling, rubbling, rubbing against my mic. So let's bring this back down to, oh yeah, I should have mentioned these. This here, I can change the volume of just this track. Uh, let me highlight this again in a minute. So I can take that out. So Capitalizing now, upon that. But Liberty Media, it feels to me, is actively in. See, that works. So, is there a bit where we all talk? Hey, there we go. So, F1 oh, oh, driven. Oh, driven. <laughs> oh, where oh. they drive around a, a city with no helmets on. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're all, all talking. No helmets on. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so, what we can do, if we, I wanted to drop Dave's volume down, I could drop it down on here on the game. Just crank that right down. <laughs> no helmets on. Beautiful. Yeah. And he's in the back. Yeah, we, ha we have. <laughs> no helmets on. Beautiful. Yeah. And then I can bring him back up and put him into the forefront. No helmets on. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> See? That's how that works. Um, let's put that back to zero. There we go. So we're all. Oh, hang on. Is that zero? There we go. So we're all back to where we were. Uh, so that's the second one done. There's a gap at 27.15, so let's zoom out again. Move along a little bit. 27... Out here. There. Like, the, the, I, I think the first episode was all about COVID because, you know, that was a thing that happened there is. Uh, last well, year. It, 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 it was <laughs> partly about the future clashing together at their prime. There so, go. there's a big gap there, which. We don't matches want. of sort of like wrestlers from the past and the future clashing together at their prime. So. Yeah, so there's a bit of a gap there. So once again, I can just highlight all three. Press delete. Boom. All done. So what he's done is chopped out a piece on all three tracks, moved them all over, joined them back up. On some software, if you... Let's undo that. Some software, you can... Or what you will find will happen is you will click boundaries and it'll do this. So you end up with big gaps and then you have to physically grab a move tool and move each track back over. 
And that is an absolute ball ache. Nobody wants to do that. That's a pain. So, well, like on here, we can just delete it and then we can tidy up a little bit. It's from the past and the future clashing together at their prime. So, Drive to Survive, Dave. Uh, that sounds all right. Uh, do I want him doing that? I can always get rid of that. That's him just breathing, which everyone does. I do it all, all the time. If we do that, does that sound natural? Clashing together at their prime. So, Drive to Survive, Dave. Uh, what did you think of... I don't think that sounds too bad. I think once you're in the conversation and it's flowing, you don't tend to notice that. So that's the third one done. And the fourth one is 19 minutes 20. I hit a blind. I hit the bl How the hell did I hit the blind? But I hit the blind. So 19 minutes 20. So zoom out again. Slide over to 19 minutes. Oh, gone too far. It's there in it. Let's listen. I know something of it, but not. Yeah. Solo me, so we can just hear my track. <laughs> Some sort of shaker. I might save that for later. But we don't want that in there. So what we do, we just highlight that. Get rid of it. It's not there anymore. We can just make sure everything sounds good. I, I know something of it, but not of the sort of the modern... In you probably wouldn't have noticed it either. Let's put it back. Let's see if we would have noticed it. But because I've done it, I know it's there. I know something of it, but not of the sort of... You can't even hear it. I, 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 I know something of it, but not of the sort of... the. No, you can't hear it. Doesn't matter. I know it's there. Um, let's highlight that. There we go. That's that. Uh, Audacity has another feature where you can just skip to the start of the track with these and at the end of the track. So we can go back to the end of the track. And I want to go back to the start of the track because that's all four things that I've done. Um, when I go back to the start of the track, my cursor goes to zero. So I can so <laughs> very much so. Press this. Oh, it, it it does contain the answer to life, the universe, and everything, which is what we want here. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I coming through? Okay, I'm not peeking too much or anything. Am I? My my waveform is. Oh, you're you're peeking behind the curtain on this one. I so, <laughs> um, where do we start? How's that? That's oh. a little nice. No, it's still too loud. So, where did we start? Already run out of words. Oh, that sounds like I've already started. Honestly, WD won't work. It, mm. it... No, God, I'm such an idiot, aren't I? There Love we it. go. No, that's <laughs> that's fine. I think you need a bit of um, contact cleaner. Don't put WD on it. That is the wrong thing to put on. Is this me starting here? How? <laughs> it's too soon already. No. Oh, God, where did I start? Did I start here? That's way too, <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> Come away. To Split out the difference. Where I start. I didn't even turn the knob that much. I turned it a little bit. Little there we bit. go. Now that's that's fine. I think you need a bit of um, contact cleaner. Don't put WD on it. That is the wrong thing to put on there. Put contact <laughs> cleaner on there. That that that, that, that uh, A is what she said, uh, and B uh, well worn advice. <laughs> now, honestly, WD won't work. It mm. it'll work in the very beginning. And then it'll just go, make it even worse. So uh, contact cleaner is your, your best form of whatever I'm trying to... I already run out of words. Mm. Oh, my okay. word. How about that bodes well? <laughs> yeah, I was, was going to say, say what, say what few words you have left for the episode, and we'll yeah. go from there. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get this started, shall we? Yeah, why not? Oh, I think Andy drove on this one. Hello, Elton. He did, yes. How do? You all right? Ah. <sighs> We're here again, aren't we? It right, so all this stuff here is classed. Hang on, let me highlight this. All that stuff there, that's classed as green room stuff. That always gets trimmed off. So 
There you go. It's gone. That's it. So now the start of the episode. Hello, Elton. Is that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, start about there. Let's get rid of that. Hello, Elton. How do? You are right? <sighs> We're here again, aren't we? It's uh, it's another year, another season of deck chairs. Um, how are we feeling about Formula One? How? <laughs> right, okay. So, the editing is... The stuff I wanted to chop out is done. So I can get rid of the book. Apologies for the mess in the room. Um, now... What do I normally do? Just levels. Just make sure levels are fine. So what do we have? I want to find out where everyone is. Here's a good bit where everyone is. So necessarily a bad thing. Okay, well, I'll, I'll certainly this. do my best. At the top here, we have the left and right speakers. Because we record in mono, we put everything out in mono, everything comes through on both speakers. So these will always be parallel with each other. But I want to make sure that when people peek, it's fairly consistent with what everyone is doing. So everyone is kind of peeking at the similar sort of level. So if we start about here. Oh, I, I, cool. Are you going over the top rope or are you kind of like sliding in? Uh, uh, then, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just sort of slide in under the rope. Just to just yeah. ro roll underneath it <laughs> in, the, in the laziest way possible. Come on, yeah, we're all so getting a bit on now. Exactly. <laughs> It's not going to be an athletic entrance. No, it's it's really not. It's really not. So, no um, Prince Nassim <laughs> flip over the top rope. No, no that's no, not going to happen, is it? That's, that's not happening. No, no. <laughs> yeah, we're we're all peaking consistently there. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a couple of things I want to do before that. So, normally, let's just get rid of some room noise. So this would just be on Dave's track. Take a nice big sample there, and we can remove. Actually, let's just show you. Probably won't be able to hear it, but it's just background air conditioners, fans, people walking outside. You can you can catch little bits of it, so we can get rid of all of that. It's room ambience. So we have an effects box, um, noise reduction, and then we have to get the noise. So that section there that I've highlighted, I'm getting that sample. It's taking it into the data bank. I now have that sampled. What I can then do is uh, we want a full screen of everything. So this is Dave's whole track here. I can then highlight that whole track, edit, noise reduction. Again, we've already done this bit, so now I've got like a preset special gravy sauce thing already pre-planned. And it just takes out a little bit. We'll just do that process on that track. And we just repeat that for three times on each track, just to make sure we get rid of that ambience, because sometimes that can affect... What's going on? I should have made a drink. Gagging for a drink now. So. Pardon me. I've got windy pops. Sorry. Um, we'll wait for this to do its magic. Probably won't be able to tell the difference because it's, it's not taking out much. But it's taking out just enough. It takes out that if you have a, a hiss. A very tiny hiss on a microphone. It might pick that up. That might go into the recording, so you, you will be able to remove that. Uh, should have brought like a Rubik's Cube along or something like that to, to do that while this is processing. Are we done yet? No? See, th this is what I don't know how to feel. I can't feel this. Okay, so that's done. So we can go back to the start of that track. I 
I can barely tell the difference. So that's that one done. So we need to do the same on Andy. Now there's not a big gap. See they're here. There's a nice big sample to take for Dave's. Uh, this is probably like the biggest part here. Let's see what Andy's sounds like. I can hear a tiny hiss on there. So. Let's go to the effects, noise reduction, take that sample. We are double tapping just highlights the whole track. Effect, not back noise reduction again. We've done that bit, so now we're just going to apply it and wait for that to tick over. I know there are other programs. I know I've got Reaper. That's a really good program. A really, really good audio program. And I think you have to pay a little bit for it. I forget how it works. I think you pay... I think you pay at some point. Uh, I think they give you like two months free trial on it and if you're not happy with it then you you move on the problem with it every time you make a process it'll it's a non-destructive program so you always have all of your files there but if with this process i'm doing this noise reduction you have the the track before the noise reduction and it processes it and then it saves it as a once it has done the noise reduction. So then you end up with two tracks. If you're making 30 edits, you end up with like 31 tracks and that's how your memory fills up. And I, I really like it. I, I started getting the hang of it, but I didn't realize it was filling up my hard drive. And so I found it very hard to justify having my hard drive just filled up with edits uh, with this it's destructive so every time i change it that is the sound recording changed it's not i can always go back to my original grab my original drop it back in here but the one that i've dropped in there previously it's changing it all the time so uh, let's just listen to that, see if it makes any difference. Don't know. All I want to do is take out a little bit of hiss. So I think it has done something. Probably not going to be able to notice it. Oh, and now I need to do me. Nice big gap there. Actually, let's listen to it. I mean, that's fantastic, and and it is. Solo that. There's a bit of hiss there. So, effect, noise reduction. Get that noise reduction. Double tap the track. Effect, back into noise reduction. Remove that noise. And it seems to be a, a, a very good program for doing it. I've never, if you reduce or remove too much noise, so if you live near a, a busy street and you can hear the people in the background, the cars in the background, and you try to remove that from you talking so you have your wavelength and then the ambient noise, sorry, is that big. At, at the moment, my wavelength is that and the amb the hiss is, you, you can't see it, it's a, it's a flat line. But if you have like a, a noise behind it and you try and remove that, you will be able to remove the noise. But it, it makes you sound like you're underwater. It goes all bubbly. Yeah, it makes it go all bubbly and it's, 
it's very noticeable. Once you know the sound of that noise and you listen to other podcasts and they're doing it as well. It's um very distracting. Really distracting. And you notice it on people that have just started podcasting. And you, you can tell that they're using audacity to do that. Because it's it's a kind of sound signature from audacity. So let's just give this another little listen. Mm, has, probably hasn't removed much, but... So, I've done the, the noise reduction. Next, what do I do next? It's normally just a compression, which brings the lows up a little bit and brings the highs down a little bit. So let's just do a... Where can we prove it? If we just apply a compressor... Actually gagging for a drink. Idiot. It's because I sat here for a while just going, do I record this? I'm not too sure. But here I am recording. Um, let's just check. No. Oh, nuts. I pressed the wrong button now. Balls. So hopefully this compressor will add, it will even out the track a little bit. So hopefully you'll see this side here on the right hand side of the screen on my track. This should grow a little bit and this louder bit here should squish and it should level. Yeah, moved a little bit. I don't need, can I undo that? Let's undo my tummy's rumbling and redo yeah so this is there's parts quieter parts of this part that have increased but the overall part of this has stayed the same whereas this has increased to kind of match that but the quiets are really quiet and then I normally go along let's have a look on Andy's one so we've got this high peak here compared to these, this lower peak here. So once we do the whole thing, and the same here, it should all kind of level out. So compressor, let's run this as well. And I'll do this on Dave's after. Apologies if I don't speak for a minute. I need to get a drink. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else there is to mention on here. There are some real good features on here. If you have like a a tinny sounding recording from someone else, you hang on, am I on the right mic? Yes, I am on the right mic. There we go. Genius. You can add a bit of play around with the graphic equalizer and all that jazz I don't very rarely use that unless I have someone on that sounds really thin you need to bump up the bass a little bit and let's do the same on Dave edit compressor then I think that's is that it. Now this is what I normally do at the end of each Grand Prix podcast. So me and Andy will record up until let's say eleven o'clock. We we start at nine, finish about eleven, eleven thirty, and he'll jump off. I'll sit here, do this. Get it, and then it's done. I don't have to worry about it. And then it's out ready for Monday morning for everyone to listen to. Shonky Lab, I do a very similar sort of thing as well. I don't do it that night though. I, it doesn't have to be out that night. Grand Prix podcast does have to be out, preferably 
Sunday night, mon- uh, Monday morning. Um, Shanglab doesn't have to be. That jazz normally has to be out the next day because we've recorded it late. So we can see these have grown and that's almost stayed the same. So let's see what the peaking is like around here. Together with their prime. So Drive to Survive, Dave, uh, what did you think of the Formula One it was presenting there? Like, the, the, and I, I think the first episode was all about COVID because, you know, that was a thing. Oh, it's four I, I still haven't finished season three. Oh, which, you you're not missing much. <laughs> no, well, I, I didn't think <laughs> so. But there was an episode where there was fake tension built between two drivers. In I'm sounding a little louder. So I might knock them up just one. Let's see. Oh, I don't get involved in that. I leave that to my manager. Wink, wink. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, so it was was clearly kind of one of those things where they've... I think that's better. So let's have a look at the whole track. They should look a bit more... Yeah, look, the whole thing looks a lot more even, doesn't it? So... So that's that side of things. So what I normally do now is save as. Okay. I've already got a folder ready for this. Uh, entertainment or sport. That's what I've called it, is it? Okay. So let's do that. You got me checking my spelling now. Uh, uh, let's leave it at that. So that'd be the uh, uh, the actual recording saved in the Audacity format. Then, once I'm happy with that, come on, I then have to come up to here and export it. I don't export it as MP3 because the MP3 coder i don't know the actual name of it the the program that turns it into an mp3 isn't as good as the one in itunes i've been led to believe and i've been led to believe that for the last how long have i been recording on here since two th- i started on cubase in 2008 so i've probably been re- using audacity i think since 2009 so I normally export as a WAV or WAVE. I like to call it a WAVE. If you call it a WAV, yeah, you go for it. Happy trees and all that. So goes back into that folder. So I save it there. Oh, okay, so deck. I don't think I need to fill out all this stuff, but I'd normally do anyway. You can also see my typing skills are amazing. Oh, well, that's deck chairs, isn't it? Deck. Uh, track number, I think we're at 42, I mentioned that earlier on, year was 2022, oh my word, uh, that software there, that's what we recorded it on, doesn't really need that, so that, that is being exported as a WAV WAV file into my folder. So that will be... That will be appearing in here. That's there. Okay, done. So now we have the recording of Audacity. That's the actual thing. That's the file of all the tracks that are in this file here. So what I can do, I can now 
quit this. Uh, yeah, might as well save it one more time. Why not? So then that's gone. So just to prove that it's all back there. This is the bit where my computer crashes. There we go. It's all back there. Let's make sure. Three, three, because Villeneuve wouldn't sign up. <laughs> and so they changed his name to John Newhouse. <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. Which are there we go. So that's all there. Uh, this is the WAV file that we exported. So then this, I use the music, iTunes, whatever you want to call it. So I drop this into there. Where has that gone? That is that, that file there. So if I press play on that, oh no, that's my song that I was listening to earlier on. That's Hello, Elton. Hope of the States. How do? You are right. So that's the recording we've done. But we can't distribute that until it's an MP3. So then we have to come into, oh no, that doesn't do it this way. It's in here, file. And then I need to convert it to an MP3 version. So then we let iTunes slash music, whatever you want to call it, transfer that into an MP3. And it really does depend on how long the episode is. Yeah, we got like Babylon's Ashes. That was two and a half hours. That was into the expanse. Oh yeah, I'll have to show you all the other stuff that you need to check out in the future as well. So we wait for this to happen. Then we can do the, I think the ID3 tags. Anyway, I fill out a load of stuff. I put the album artwork on there. God, I keep hitting that. Sorry. Put the album artwork on there. And... Hmm. I won't upload it because then you'll see all my logins. I don't want you to see all my logins. Look, I like you. Not enough for you to see all my logins. So, so that's not going to happen. But look, you're getting this access, aren't you? So you, you, you can't really grumble um but you know if if this is received well maybe i'll do i'll definitely bring a drink up next time but maybe i'll i'll do this again in future uh let's see if that's oh hang on there we go there we go okay uh is that done yet no it's still converting man come on you can do this so we'll end up with a, a duplicate of this, which we then fill out the information on. I think the reason why it's taking its time is because it is streaming live, recording this, and me doing all the processing as well. That's why it's taking a little bit longer than what it would normally do. It's normally a bit quicker than this. But it's cool. It's me and you. We we say we're all cool. There's, we haven't got to be anywhere. Well, we don't have to be anywhere, but you know, it would be nice if it was done now, though, wouldn't it? By the way, Hope of the States. Get into Hope of the States. Awesome band. All right, okay, so there is, there's the one that we dropped in. There's our MP3 version. So what we can do, if we go to get info we can tell the difference so if we go to file this is our wav audio file okay if we come out of here go into this one go and get info go to file mpeg there we go mp3 layer 3 i'm guessing that's what it is so this is the one that we need to fill out so this should already this should jump up. Uh, so, artists is deck chairs. Deck chairs and dirty. Yeah, there we go. Album, deck chairs. And uh, yeah, it was Elton and Andy. Elton and Andy. Uh, genre, I always put Formula One. Doesn't really matter. Year that we did it, it was 22. Track. 
42. You don't have to put these tracks in. The reason why I do this is it puts a little number at, let me see if I can show you. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that'd be fine. So if we go to uh, another deck chairs, 41, there we go. It puts a little number there. The only reason I, I put that number there is so when people are bootlegging them or they've downloaded them and they put them on a file and they want to listen to them in order, they're not going to have these in order. I, I, I don't like show numbers either. Sorry, windy pops again. Um, I don't like uh, episode numbers put in, in the title. And so I put them in the actual file itself. So when people have like a, a folder full of all of these episodes, they can listen to them in order because you have like a little number right next to it. And your computer should sort them all out in the correct order. Hopefully that is the thought of it. So let's come back to there. So there we are now. So that's the reason why I put the track number in. I started doing that a couple of years ago. Only because I was going through some podcasts that I wanted to keep. And they weren't in number order. And some someone else did this as well. So I, I quite liked it. I was like, oh, I will nick that. And so I've nicked it. Uh, album artwork. So we have a picture here. We can just drag that. Drop it. Boom. That is in. Options. Remember playback position. I always tick these because, once again, if you've downloaded this, you got to think of the future person listening to this. Not guaranteed it's always going to be listened to on that day or someone else might want to listen to it in a year's time. They drop it into their, their iTunes, for say or music, remember the playback position. If you listen to it and pause it, a song will normally restart at the very beginning. A podcast, an hour and a half long, you don't want that to restart. You want that to stop and stay where it is. Remember that position. So when you come back to it in two weeks' time, it's still there and you know where you are. So that's why I tick that. And skip when shuffling. If you've got your music and you're on shuffle, you're, you're doing a kid's party. You don't want deck chairs and dirty air starting, do you? But why would you want that? So um, that's why I always do that. And then I just bump it up a little bit. This is just the volume that it puts it out as. I just knock it up a, a notch. So that's that. Everything's filled out in there. That's all the details. Uh, sample rate. I didn't muck around with the sample rate. It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters as much nowadays. I know that used to cause problems, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's done. So now if I click on that. Hello, Elton. Ah, yes, so. Hello, Elton. This is the original. How do you? And you don't get the al album artwork because that's, that's the WAV one. Hello, Elton. You get the album artwork. How do? So that's the correct one. Let's, we want it back in that folder. So then we can just drag it, drop it. And now we have that 42 on there. So that's it. There we go. That is the episode done. Uh, I can now get rid of this one. Delete from library. Yes, please. I can also get rid of the other one that we had. Was it rivalries? There we go. So that's that. Um, let's close that down. Uh, so that's ready to be published now. And I'll stick that up very soon. Uh, I will also show you. Let's go back to this. God, oh, pardon me. So we have this. This is the equipment, by the way. This is this little cube. 
awesome. I flipping love this thing. Like 20 quid. But this is my mixing desk and the computer. Let me just stand back a little bit. So we have at the mic, we have a second mic up there ready to go. Uh, we have the mixing desk. So, so we have this is where I'm speaking through. So if I hit, no, hang on, that's not it. I'm on this one. This. There we go. I cut out. That's it's a tech. Absolutely. I've got a spare one just in case this one goes wonky because I think they're so good. Um, Apple being Apple, I can't plug straight into the computer because, you know, they're bloody dicks, aren't they? So I have to get like a little dongle that feeds into the computer and then they're on there. Uh, when I'm speaking to Andy or the Black Dog guys, they come through on this channel here. And there's like a mix minus set up on here. I could go into that. If you want me to go into a mix minus... Uh, I'm not prepared to do it just yet. I need to write it down and actually go through what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, I'm running the Mix Minus. If you want me to help you, I'm very happy to help you out. Uh, just just give us a shout and we'll sort something out. Um, I have a backup recorder here as well. So when we're recording, we use Zencast. Or when we do Black Dog, we use Clean Feed. And they're two web-based programs that record on the internet. And they're fantastic. But on the occasion that they aren't fantastic and they forget their place and they go wonky and you lose all your recordings, I have a backup. And you can see me, my voice is being transmitted into this one here. So when I'm recording with Andy... This is my lifeblood. If something goes wrong or if something's out of sync or if someone drops out, I can always get it on here. So that's all backed up. Um, what else is there to say? These are all the cables that lead to that backup. There's the microphones coming in. That's it, really. That's my setup. Yeah, there's not a lot to it. So if you have any questions that you want answered... I, I think you know where to find me. I'm at, at Elton McManus. I'm at rogue2media.com. Oh, I will show you. Let's go back to this one. The other episodes that we do. So, where are we? Let's go to this. And go to... There we go. Grand Prix Podcast. That conked out. Oh, what's happened there? Hang on, am I not doing this anymore? Let's hit that. No, it hasn't conked out. Sorry, that's just me panicking. That all balls. Hang on a second. Right, so we have Grand Prix Podcast. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about anyone else. We're at 96 ratings and reviews. We'd like more. What you need to do is come down to the bottom here. Uh, hang on, where is it? Ratings and reviews. Just just click on that there. Write a little review. That'd be great. Helps us out. 4.5. Come on, come on, guys. We can do better than that. Um, but we do have quite a lot of episodes on here. So if you're interested in getting back into Formula 1, look. Loads, loads for you to dive into. Uh, what other shows do we do? Uh, into the Expanse. That's about the Expanse. The Expanse is finished now, but that seems to be received very well, actually. I've yeah, got some nice reviews on there. Uh, Band of Brothers. Oh, 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 hang on. I don't, I don't look at the reviews on this because we get coded on here because... Apparently, because we didn't serve in the army, we're, we're not qualified to speak about that sort of stuff. Shonky Lab. I'd like to say my baby, but it's, it's more like my burden, really. I love doing it, but I also hate doing it at the same time. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, if you're interested in controllers or Winter Olympics or old men shouting at clouds or medieval stuff, what else have we done? Christmas Ghost Watch, the amazing episode. Archaeology. Let's go back. There was one on trains. Would you rather reality TV bikes? There were loads of stuff there. Um, great derelict. Please go down all, download all these. This is Andy's show. Um, I think it's brilliant. I think it does really well. He's got some great guests on there. And Black Dog as well. Please go check that out. I'm on there. I'm the fourth chair. Working my way up. Working my way up. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not really. Uh, what else? Uh, let's go back one. Hypnogoria as well. Give Jim some love. He's got loads of episodes. Loads of episodes. Loads of shows. The um, commentary club that he does. Uh, what else? Look, there's loads of shows on there. Oh yeah, there's Flix Capacitor as well. I might bring that back one day. Do you like time travel movies? I do. I might bring that back. I'm not too sure. But look, these are the places where we need the reviews. So if you pop along there, help us out. That would be grand. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sorry if it's been a bit of a mess. If you need any questions, go to Twitter. You know where I am on Twitter and all the socials and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. So what do I need to press now? I need to press this. So thanks. <laughs>